Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with another update for a project pan. This is a fantastic ladies collab as usual. And this is for the That's So Thousands project pan and it was created by Samar. This project started in April of 2000 and I think it started in April or did I shrink columns? Nope. Started in April and it is going until April of next year. Sorry, I had to look at my spreadsheet. Now this was created by Samar and she just created her own YouTube channel. So go and check her out, it's brand new. And I think she only updates this project, um, but I'm hoping she'll do some more. And um, she said in her, like in the directions that you were to have five prompts that are rolling. But just like my other projects this summer, I am going to roll in more because I want to have 10, 10 prompts in this project up until I go back to school. So that way I can try to get through more because I was able to hit quite a few goals in this project. Spoiler alert. So if you'd like to see how I did, then stay tuned. The first product that I pulled into this project for this last round was the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade Georgia. And that is for the prompt iPad iPod Shuffle whole project or whole um, collection roulette. And um, this is a swatch of this color. This color really scared me at first, but I really, really enjoyed using it. I feel like maybe because it's the summer, it gave me such like a pretty flush to my cheeks. Most of the time I used it underneath my foundation to give that glow from within. And then I would use other products on top. My goal is to use this 10 times and I did. So it's rolling out. So exciting. Next up is my fruit lighter in the shade Tropico. This is from Cleona. Um, and the prompt was chunky jewelry. Something chunky, bulky, either bulky, bulky packaging, chunks of glitter, etc. And I chose this because it definitely has glitter. I'm wearing it today. It is absolutely gorgeous. My goal was to use it five times and I did. So pretty. This is absolutely gorgeous. It has such a pretty flip. And there you go. I was super like nervous to wear this on my face when I first got it, but it is now turning into one of my favorite highlighters. So I'm so glad that I received that I purchased it. Um, next up is for Diodler's Book of Greek Myths. This is something mythologically related and dragons are mythologically related. So I brought in this Cleona palette. This is the dragon fruit palette. Um, and I absolutely love this. And I was going, I used it no pan left behind style and I did do that. My goal is done. So this is one of my favorite shades. This is um, Dragonfly. Look at that gorgeousness. I used that actually on my lid in a look yesterday and then I topped it with something and it was just super gorgeous. So this palette is rolling out. That's three rollouts. I can't this this project has been so exciting for me next up is low-rise pants your least flattering product those pants were so gross I had the worst muffin top like as did everybody even if you were a stick figure you still had muffin top with that I pulled in my beats Burt's beats burrs Burt's bees blush and toasted cinnamon I thought at first I really did not like this it is turning into my favorite blush I really realized that neutrals look really nice on me, better than peaches and pinks. This does pull a little bit peach, but it's super pretty on the face. My goal was to use it five times and I did. So that is rolling out as well. Now for the three things that are not rolling out. First of all, for frosted tips, something frosty or icy, open to interpretation. I never did that trend, so I'm glad to say that. I'm pulling in my Lurella um, highlighter in the shade Jewels, and here is what it looks like. It is a little bit deep for me, but if I go lightly with it, it really does look pretty. So here is a, here is a swatch. It's like a really nice gold highlighter, and there it is right there. Um, 
I did not hit my goal on this, so this is staying in my project. I've used it two out of the five times, so I need to use it three more times before I can roll it out, and I'm not mad at that. Okay, next up is for Cheetah Girls, any animal print, and for that, I pulled in this Tarte um, palette where I had a whole bunch of my special um, singles in it, and my goal is to use this No Pan Left Behind style, and so far I've used all of these up here on the top row. Let me give you swatches. There's my Cleona shade, and that is in, let's see, this is in Cathedral, super duper pretty. That's a pastel multi-chrome, so there is a swatch of that right there. Next is for Blaze, and here is a swatch of Blaze. That's this one. And there's Blaze. I actually used it in my look today. I wanted to do a little bit of a sunset look. So that is that. And then this one is, let's see. I think these are my, this is Luxy in Emerald City. So pretty. There's that. Look at that green. Gorgeous. I'm having so much fun um, playing with all these new single shadows that I got. And then this one is Dragon Slayer from Luxy. This one goes from like, you can see it's green, and then if you like have it that way, it's like teal. Super duper pretty. So there's that, and I'll flip it so you can see. Okay, there's that, and then it goes like darker. And then last but not least, oh my gosh, this one I think is one of my favorites. This is called High Roller. Does it do an, nope, it's not really a flippy one. That vibrant purple, so pretty. That was a bad swatch, it's not um, patchy. Um, so yeah, so I've used five of these so far, so I still have to use the rest of these, and this is staying in, and I'm totally not mad at that. Um, and then finally, for Harry Potter, something magical or magic-related, I brought in this Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator because for me, foundation is magical. It totally... Um, like gets rid of all my redness and it works so well for me and I really like this um, I put it on a little light and it works really great for me so um, yeah I use this two times my goal is to use it five so this is still staying in so because I rolled out four, I had seven in all together. I rolled out four and I want to have 10 in until the end of the summer. So I need to roll in seven new props. So let me pull up my pretty random app and I'm going to put in um, my spreadsheet goes 21, oops, 21 to 40. And there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I will be back and I will show you all the products and I'll tell you all the new prompts that are rolling in to this project. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm back. That took longer than usual. Um, my a lawn care person came and I had a hard time picking out some products so I'm back so here are the seven prompts and products I am rolling into this project first of all Jonas Brothers a trio for that I am pulling in this Too Faced Sweet Peach Glow Palette and you might be saying but Kim it's already in a project I know I know I know but I am going to be rolling this out of the project because the finale is at the end of the month. So once that project is over, I am pulling this in to use it in any capacity 10 times. So that means I can use any of these shades 10 times, okay? So I could use even just the bronzer 10 times, the highlighter, the blush. So I'm gonna clean it up, 
once that project is over and I am going to use it 10 times because I do like it, but I didn't make as much progress in it as I wanted to. Plus, I think it might be my only trio prod product. Sorry if I shook you, I couldn't tell. Um, it might be my only trio product in my collection. So there. Second is my lip gloss is popping. Any lip gloss. So I am pulling back in my Tower 28 lip gloss in the shade Coconut. I love this gloss and it does have a tendency I've heard to go bad quicker than other glosses. So right now I am about here and that is about at the top, top of the W. Yeah, right at the top of the W. My goal is to get to the bottom of the R. Simple. So this will be rolling in to get to the bottom of the R and we'll see how I do. For Sims, a product you customized. Um, I, I don't really customize products. However, I have been kind of customizing my depotted and single shadows and as well as like my other depotted products. So I took this Cleona palette and I put into it all of my depotted face products. So I have a unique, I have some Ofra, I have um, some Lorac. So my goal is going, oh, and I have some of the balm. And my goal is to use this um, entire palette, no pan left behind style. So I'll use each one of these one time. And that kind of makes me excited because I wanted to try it and try some of these pro uh, products that are in here. So yeah, so that'll be fun. Does this fit into my drawer? It does, yay! Okay, for Hannah Montana, a day to night product that's like a duo. So I consider having false lashes on kind of like a night look. I would never wear them to school um, and I really wouldn't wear them during the day unless I'm going to film. So today I decided to try some new ones and they are the Ardell Magnetic Mega Hold Liner and Lash. So this is a duo because you have the magnetic liner and you have the lashes and it's a day to night product because I would never, I could wear the liner during the day and then pop on the lashes at night. So my goal is to use these five times which is a lot for me because I hardly ever wear lashes. I think I have like a handful of videos where I'm wearing lashes, so you'll see these more. But aren't they pretty? I think they're super pretty. Um, the product with me, the problem with me in lashes is that I can't wear my glasses. So I'm lucky enough that I can see enough without my glasses, but I can't go all day without wearing my glasses. So that's why I don't wear lashes very often. Maybe like the wispies and stuff would work, so I'm gonna try those as well. Then for flip phone, anything in a compact, I chose this new bronzer to my collection, another new bronzer. This is a Jessica Braun made me do it, and it's the Lumi True Match Lumi bronzer. It's really pretty, and I'm super excited to use it. Here is a swatch. And it looks like a really like, ooh, that goes on really nice. It's like a really glowy bronzer. So my goal is to use that five times because I have so many other, you know me, so many other things going. I'm trying to make my um, goals like actually workable goals that I think I can do. For Mr. Brightside, that was the next prompt, your brightest um, product. I chose to bring in this um, ColourPop Color Sticks in the shade Hummingbird. This was a product that was gifted to me from Amy and um, there it is. It's a wicked bright greenish teal color. It's super pretty but it is a little bit scary for me um, and I, I'm going back to marking things on paper because um, it's hard to see progress otherwise. I mean, I guess I could mark it on the cap too, but I don't know. I like marking some of these stick products on paper. So I'm gonna have index cards from now on. So there's my progress. You'll see right there, it's 2.3. And my goal is to use this five times. So we'll see how I do with that. And then finally, last but not least for high school musical, a product you've been using since high school. For me, that's like foundation or pressed powder. I used to use pressed powder, that cover girl in the brown compact, like all the time. My friends and I would like pass it back and forth in class and use it to put on our lipstick or our powder. And that's what I wore. So I decided to pull in this pure four in one pressed mineral makeup um, because I can use this as a foundation and or a powder. 
Um, and I haven't used it yet. I just swatched it. So I'm going to see. I don't really know how to use pressed powder foundation. So there's the shade. It's kind of disappearing into my hand. So I guess that's a good sign. My goal is to use it again. Say it with me five times to see if I like it or not. So yeah, that's my update for the That's So 2000s project pan. Um, I was actually a professional teaching in the 2000s. So like I wasn't a kid, but I do recognize a lot of these prompts and these sort of roulette prod, uh, projects are so fun for me. And I'm using them to just really set low usage goals and to move through products so that I can see what I like and don't like in my collection. So yeah, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you liked me, please consider subscribing. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.